Well, it seems you can officially turn your ROG Ally into a Steam Deck. Well, of course, not exactly an official Steam Deck in all of its functionalities, but pretty much the part that matters most, going straight into gaming mode. Now, with the thanks of Emu Deck and all of those amazing devs, they made emulating a Steam Deck with Windows in the background possible. There is now a function in Emu Deck that you can switch on called Gaming UI. And pretty much, it's Emu Deck's official gaming mode and solution to turning any Windows or Linux computer effectively into a steam machine now of course the sleep functionality in the rg ally and the lenovo legion go aren't exactly like the steam deck because windows just doesn't operate that smoothly it doesn't focus on stopping everything and resuming as if it had one or two processes and not that many layers because windows has a ton of layers that it needs to go through and start just to start the system and put it to sleep but Emudeck effectively created the option to set your Windows handheld into official gaming mode. So that means when you reset the system, it's going to go straight into Steam. Even if you minimize Steam, you're not going to see anything in the background. It's all black. And of course, this option is only available to Patreon supporters on Emudeck's page. So I supported them because they did such a wonderful job with the Steam Deck. And now they're working on Windows, which is exactly what I wanted. And I've been messing around with emulation on the RG Ally. I now officially have all of the games I had on my Steam Deck on my RG Ally. Now there is actually no reason to go back to my Steam Deck because I have every single game and emulation and interface that I've had on there. Even the motion icons from Steam Grid is on my RG Ally. Of course, it's not implemented into it from a plugin, but I go on a website and it connects my games to that website. And it's pretty seamless, to be honest. And with the RG Ally's touchscreen, it makes the process a lot easier. And that's really all I wanted because I didn't want Steam OS and I know I keep talking about this and I'm sorry but I can't make the point clearer. I really just wasn't into the whole Proton and Linux compromise. I didn't want to use Proton knowing that it's not going to have specific features that Windows would naturally support and also there might be some glitches because of Proton just like with Guardians of the Galaxy and that annoying flashing graphics glitch. It's specifically because of that Proton layer of compatibility and Proton doesn't really waste any resources. You can just use it right off the bat with Steam Deck and it's all fine and good. But I remember looking at my library and thinking, oh man, I could really play this game on the go. Let me try. And it just doesn't work because there hasn't been a Proton version compatible with that game yet. And that's really a depressing thought, especially someone my age that just wants to play and see specific games on the go before I die. I'm not old or anything, but I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to have enough time to play on consoles. And I already don't. And I just want to play certain games on a handheld and not have a lot of the trouble of compatibility. The only trouble I could understand in having is controller issues or resolution issues. Those are always problems. And of course, if my system is powerful enough, I don't want to have to worry about that. So the RG Ally pretty much just carries all of those worries and floats it away from my mind. While the Steam Deck always constantly reminded me that we have a long way to go until we can play specific games in handheld mode. And thanks to Emu Deck, even with a Windows handheld, you could have that Steam Deck experience with that compatibility, finally. So I put most of my games in my Steam library, and I have about 240 that are non-Steam games, like emulation and just third-party games that I have installed into my ROG Ally. I categorize them, so if I want to turn on the option to go straight into gaming mode, I have that option. And thank you to Emu Deck and all of the developers for listening to my feedback, because I reached out to them about about their paths and integrity, and they should have some kind of validation process for their installations. I literally said validation process, and I just received an email yesterday saying that now they added some kind of validation or integrity verification for their emulators and cores. Thank God, because that was so annoying setting those cores myself. It took like four hours to set my entire library because of course it is in beta, but I let them know that I've been dealing with this since the Steam Deck. They need some kind of integrity verification for 
for their games emulators at least especially if it focuses on games and emulators so yeah i've been having a ton of fun with the rg ally and emulation and because it's windows i could just install the most ridiculous mods into it and not have to worry if linux works with this or that i can just install it make it shut up and play my game and it is pretty straightforward gaming mode on rg ally it just boots straight into steam big picture mode right after you log in or use your fingerprint and apparently you have to restart windows in order to go back into desktop mode or you can x out but right now that option is taking a little longer than usual so what i did was made a shortcut to emu deck so i can just boot up emu deck from big picture mode and then turn off the gaming ui and then restarted my ally so it can go back into desktop mode it's just so cool that we have this option now and apparently they are very close to setting their goals to have this made public by this year so it's pretty much only going to take about a month for this to be available to the public a month at least least so i'm just stoked that they have this option to basically emulate a steam deck to your rg ally and for some reason the emulated gaming mode is pretty fast and when i put games into 8 to 10 watts they worked better than they did while just playing from regular desktop mode and i think it's because there's a certain feature that's put in the background where the visual aspect of windows isn't there anymore so the processing isn't that intense for the rg ally i'm only assuming i haven't been able to even pull up task manager while in gaming mode you pretty much can't do much while you're in that mode which is exactly like steam deck with very little freedom and a simple ui now you have the ultimate handheld but what i like is having big picture mode on top of the desktop so if i need to access anything from windows i can just easily go into that and minimize steam big picture mode i like having everything at my disposal if i had the choice i would have steam deck 2 have big picture mode as the default pop-up when you first start it and whenever you minimize it kind of switches around its resources in order to boot up desktop mode right away so you can automatically access the files that you need i like having automatic access to everything i want instead of just having this process of 10 seconds to even two minutes just to switch to this mode that shows big pictures and simplified selections it shouldn't take that long but most likely with steam deck 2 we'll most likely see some kind of the evolution of that and also i didn't mention this in the last video but the main reason i am just not interested in steam deck or the steam deck oled right now is because it's clear that valve is just not pushing for windows support for their newer models they really just want you to support linux and to specifically stick to the steam platform and that just feels like an apple thing to do i don't really like how counterintuitive that is or anti-consumer that is they say it can do anything that a pc can do yet you can't install windows in it the steam deck the rg ally and the legion go that name is so difficult to say are very different devices and it is cool to try different things i'm not saying you shouldn't try different things i'm saying to say something is the cure all or the answer to everything is ridiculous i just say that the rg ally plays almost every game that i throw at it and that's something i can't say about the steam deck there are hundreds if not thousands of games that i've tried on the steam deck that just do not work or they have some kind of defect because of proton that was overlooked by valve it became clear that valve's verification system is just useless and i feel like that was the main part about liking the steam deck and after a certain point of logging into ubisoft logging into rockstar for the 15 billionth time on a freaking plane and that's a redundancy because you can't do that after those times i just figured i'll just stick to windows the headaches of working around something that you just cannot change is just ridiculous we may as well just accept everything and i know that means to accept linux as well but i'm a gamer i'm pretty straightforward i just want to play my games i want them to play very well they don't need to play for too long i have power banks for that but i just want them to play well and to be 100 compatible with the system i'm playing them with it took me two hours to solve prototypes issue on the rg ally but on the steam deck it was such an anomaly it took me two months to solve it on the steam deck two months of knowing that i couldn't play one of my favorite games of all time but on the rg ally it took me 
one night and probably less than two hours. It was a simple code I had to put into it and it worked. If you want to know how I did that, I'll probably make a video on it next time. But yeah, I was originally going to make a power saver video, but I think that Emu deck is doing great things. I think they're spreading the compatibility and ease of use to different platforms. And I just love the fact that Emu deck is now supported on Windows. And of course, we could thank Steam Deck for that. And there's no doubt that Emu deck is going to be capable of a lot more on Windows. And seeing how some features that I wanted to be on the original Emu deck for the Steam Deck is making their first appearance on Windows proves that Windows is still a positive platform. There are a ton of Windows haters because Windows can be a pain in the ass a lot of the times. I'm not going to lie to you. I even made a video just hating on Windows, but it's something everyone uses. I feel like we just need to band together and try to fix it like we always do. But yeah, let me know what you think about Emu Deck actively making Windows handhelds emulate gaming mode. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Later.